Although there is more than meets the eye when looking at the piers which make up the new George V. Voinovich Bridge, it's the elements of the structure constructed above ground that give the bridge its distinctive look. Supported by foundations beneath, two columns rise from the ground and are joined by an arched cap. The columns extend above ground from the footers of the bridge. Each was constructed in sections. A starter section, which is 8 to 12 feet tall, a 20-foot tall midsection, and the top section, which is also 20 feet tall and includes a flared section at the top. Before each column is capped off, it measures 12 feet by 14 feet by 70 feet tall. Due to the massive size of these columns, they are 18 inches thick. This hollow core reduces the overall weight of the structure. Each section of the column was constructed using a set of inside forms and outside forms custom made for the GVV bridge. In between the forms is a cage-like steel structure, which becomes the core of the concrete wall of the column. Trumbull Great Lakes Rulin actually had two sets of forms made and hopscotched the construction of each pier so that the project was never slowed, having to wait for a set of forms. The final step in constructing a pier is capping the columns. The pier caps are shaped with customized steel bars and forms and filled with concrete. The caps are 96 feet long and 16 feet tall. Nearly 70 concrete trucks are needed to deliver the 675 cubic yards of concrete contained in each cap. Water from the Cuyahoga River was used inside a tubing system contained in each cap to keep the concrete curing at the proper temperatures. The bottom of the cap features an arch shape in tribute to the many arched bridges over the river. The cap also hosts the delta structures, which also adds an arch dimension to the bridge. 